guys, word for here, and it's totally out! Deadline Stone 4 came out about, I don't know, 21 minutes ago at the moment. Death Egg Cape Porto, and of course the Glacier Edition. And I did not miss the discount this time, so damn, everything's awesome. And we're just gonna hit play, because this is amazing. And, um, there's an achievement for doing it in hardcore, but like, I don't want to be unable to skip and, and hint and, and just... Miss Nightstone, thank you for coming. I'm Richard Aldama, the owner of this hotel. It means a lot to me that you were able to attend our launch party. I'm a big fan of your books, though I must say your ghost stories are a bit over the top. Maybe you could write about the hotel instead. Give it some of your literary flair? Well, I must attend to the press, but please do me a favor. Try not to scare the guests with your stories. We have no ghosts here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Aldama, but if only you could see what I see, you'd know nothing could be further from the truth. Oh, we know there are ghosts here, dude. Chapter 1, the Aldama Hotel. There are so ghosts here, dude. Yes, let's play the tutorial. I hope the <laughs> audio levels are okay. The cursor will change into a speech bubble when you can talk to a person. Select Richard to speak to him, which I will do in a moment when I have... Yes, now I'm ready. Miss Nightstone, please, show yourself around. If you do decide to set one of your novels at my hotel, maybe I can give you a discount. On your next stay, of course. A man must make a living. <laughs> Thank you! You're so charming! Um, let's do this, though. Upsettings. Okay, now I totally screwed up, but hey! Um, oh, sorry, I sort of read that. Um, magnifying glass means you can zoom in in an area. You can find many useful items throughout your mission. Go ahead and pick up the grape emblem. Yes, please, first item. No, what did it say? Darn, I should have read. I thought I could read what it said after I picked up the item. Game! What? No! Okay, that was probably super interesting, but you know. You guys can- okay, you guys can actually go back, pause, and read that for yourselves. I'm gonna miss it. Sucks to be me. Oh, hello. Oh, a magpie. Is that a hairpin in his beak? Yes, and I'm guessing I want it. Nope. Not like that, though. Uh, huh. Hello. Oh, this clock isn't working. There's probably something stuck inside. Nope, that's not gonna work. Gotta open it, somehow. Let's go into the hotel. There it is, the display case that the ghost was hovering above. Yes, the cursor disappeared. Oops. Yes, oh, yes, I just remembered these collectibles! New achievement! Novice collector, find your first collectible! We are totally finding collectibles, is there one out here? I don't remember that we could move around out here in the beta. Oh yeah, so here's our hint. There's a lovely lighthouse. And we have a map. Ooh, we have a map. <gasps> okay, that's an awesome map. We have tasks because we're playing casual. We almost have a um, a one of these um, diary, but I can't open it <laughs> because there's probably nothing in it. And um, there's also a menu bar. What's over here? Try the best grapes in Porto. So yeah, we are we are in Portugal. Um, pretty sure at at Porto or Cape Porto, Porto, from Aldama Wineyards. I would like to remember that we are in Portugal at least. No, I want the green ones. Why would you take? No, Dana. This could be useful, but I need something sharp to cut the wrapper open. Let's go. I know I should click the display case. You need to find an item to help you get the glass display case open. First, select the tree. Select the grapes from your inventory and give it to the magpie. Actually, several grapes, but sure. Aww. You're adorable. Thank you. I'll take the diamond hairpin from myself. That is so much logic right there. There's a strange energy coming from the case, but the lock is jammed. Maybe something tiny can dislodge it? Oh, over here's so the lock. 
<laughs> this is the book that was glowing just now. It's a collection of stories and legends from this city. <laughs> I was like, she'll pick the lock. And then it's just like, no. We're just gonna slice the glass around it. Because, you know, that's how we do it. Like, okay, sure. Let's roll like that. This is the current heir of the Aldama family. I love these kinds of anopsies. Here's a miniature model of the new Aldama property. The Aldama Vineyards produces high-quality grapes, which are used to create this fine beverage. This crest represents the Aldama's family wealth and authority. Joel Aldama is the clan's most notable ancestor who expanded the business significantly. He doubled the estate by marrying a competitor's daughter, dark-haired beauty, Gabriela Montez. She's the one who died in the beginning. After the death of his first wife, Joel remarried. This seems like a treasured collection, which has been through a long passage of time. One of Richard Aldama's properties won a trophy for excellence last year. The ghostly energy seems to be centered on this newspaper clipping. Ah, uh, newspaper clipping. Oh, here. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. There's one more up there. Ah. <laughs> The Bounce Killer dies in jail. Oh yeah, we get to go into the newspaper clippings and play in there for a little bit, and that is so cool. I suddenly felt very weak, like the room was fading away. What's happening to me? <laughs> that was a bit freaky. Please, I'm innocent. I loved Gabriella. The Aldamas framed me. You must believe me. I don't think he spoke in the beta. Did he? He's holding a police file tightly. I could use that info. How do I make him let go of it? Ooh, hello. Collectible. I'll just take your button because I'm not really here, you know. Wonder what would happen if I struck this bell. Were you trying to escape? Quiet down now. Sylvia's shoe prints are found were found at the crime scene. Wait, did I see two sets of footprints in these photos? Drag the clues below to the footprints and drop them to identify a match. Wow, this is nothing like the beta. Wait, what? Drag the clue Oh! Oops! Come on. Oh, okay. Wow, this is nothing like the beta. <laughs> this part at least, uh, this is cool! Where does this go? I don't know, I woke up for like, I don't know, 40 minutes ago? Come on, brain. Work with me here. Um, Not there. Let's ignore that one and do some other one. Yeah, no, ev everyone knows exactly where I missed it, and I'm like, no. I have no idea. Okay, thank you for being so nice and <laughs> not totally super perfect. Um, but this, this is super fun though, like this is so cool. Uh, ha 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 ha, there somewhere. Uh, here. Uh. Eh, eh, where does this go? Eh, eh, up here. Uh, ha ha ha. There you are. Wow, that was totally not even in the vicinity of the right spot, but this game is super nice about stuff like that. It was like, hey, that doesn't matter. There you are, actually. Looks like there was someone else in the crime scene, too. The police missed it. Were you trying to escape? Quiet down now. That's the ghost appeared next to the display case. 
Someone knocked me out that night at the lighthouse. When I woke up, Gabrielle's lifeless body was lying next to me. I was upset that Gabrielle broke her promise to me and married Joel Aldama instead. But I would never kill her! Something fishy going on here. Totally. There's nothing more here, I think. Whee! I don't know why I'm moving this. Well, I'll just put it floating in the air. Yes! There we go. Uh, it's bleeding! I should find something to patch it up. With bread. No? Uh, please believe me, I didn't kill Gabriella. I saw her lifeless body beside me when I was knocked unconscious from behind. Yeah, give me the bandages. Whoa, we did absolutely nothing like all this in the beta. Holy baloney. Must find dagger. Partied a bit too hard, did you, Miss Nightstone? You were knocked out for a while there. Yeah. You should shave, dude. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, yeah. You missed the whole party. Everyone's gone home now. Say, what's that news clipping doing on the floor? I don't know, but it's mine. So, oops. You missed the whole party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Bolt it from the inside. They don't want guests in the kitchen. That door leads to the front desk. I probably shouldn't leave the party yet. Oh. Okay. So, oh, do I give this to him? Framed? Please. Silvio murdered Gabriella and got what he deserved. A lifetime in jail. Now, excuse me, but I'm going back to my office. Party's over, Miss Nightstone. Yeah, you're just getting more and more charming every second, dude. Okay, I understand that I'm, like, pushing this family thing in your face, but... I still believe that Sylvia is innocent. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a game about it. Oh yeah, that thing. Okay. Okay. Now it's like you have a map, and I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, I remember you, Mr. Vacuum Cleaner. Yeah, we had a battle. Something's fallen in, but this vase is too deep for me to reach inside. I need liquid, I'm guessing. Rebel to staff. Can anybody fix the power generator? These br brownouts are so inconvenient. Okay. That's a lot of keys. Oh yeah, I have to move this. The wheel's rusty. Must be a luggage cart from an old hotel. Ta da Screwed in tightly. No one can see my cursor. No one can see my cursor when it's a cutscene. I love that. That is one of the best little details ever. Thank you. Here's the broom closet. A hotel so new and the hinges are already rusted over. No budge. <gasps> oh my goodness. Sorry, Mr. Screwdriver! Another emblem! It looks pretty important. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. This door leads to the swimming pool and generator room. What is it that the ghost wanted me to see? Is that an image of a dagger? I like her clothes, actually. They're nice. They're nice. Richard hid something in the safe. I have to find a way to lure him out. Hey, but I got a screwdriver. <laughs> and I get to keep it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> why do I need this? <gasps> More screwdriver. Yes. Almighty screwdriver for the win. 
Um, the question mark icon will show you more detailed instructions on how you play this minigame. Go ahead and select the question mark. The keys are all in the wrong place. I need the key to the pool. Right, that was super awesome extra info there. Not. Um, explaining exactly how I'm supposed to do this, but sure. See here, I'm just gonna match the keys up here. That one goes there. That one actually goes here. So I don't really know what goes back there, but actually correct. Uh no, I don't know what goes here actually. That one goes there, that one goes there, that one there, so I guess these two will just switch places. Yes, they will. Pool key! Let's go to the pool, yeah? There we go. <gasps> it's a kitty cat! Hey kitty, what's that around your neck? Why, aren't we grumpy? Aww. Hey, you're supposed to flatten your ears when you're grumpy, cat. Aww. You're not a real cat. Ooh, hello. I like me some collectibles, yeah. Ouch, I'd rather not hurt my hand on the door. So I have a heavy gauntlet. <laughs> Vineyard emblem. Visit the Aldama Vineyard. As much as I'd like to go there, Silvio still needs my help. Indeed, he does. Oh yeah, this thingy here. It's out of my reach. Awesome ultimate epic screwdriver. Nope. Hey! Hello. I was just gonna get the wrench at the bottom of the pool, but no. Oil, we need that. Yeah, this is all still awesome that it's like green around the leaf here. <laughs> Oops. There's a collectible. Let's see what's up here. Richard's, Richard is the magazine's feature story, celebrating the Aldama legacy, the largest wine yard in this country. I'll take the paper clip. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of. Oh. Okay, thank you. Main business is in vine yard, wine yards. Hmm, this lock doesn't look very secure. Screwdriver! Ah, ah. Ignore the chain, I got a screwdriver. <laughs> You're in the generator room, it's going pretty fast right now. But that is okay, gear. Oh, I need, yeah, I need uh, batteries for the uh, flashlight. Code, probably yes. Same thing. This locker likely belongs to a cat owner. Oh, uh, yes, this here. It's the floor plan of the hotel, but it badly needs polishing to see it clearly. Well, we have oil, so we can. Uh... Hello. To the past, my consciousness seems to have been teleported into the newspaper article. Did the ghost do this, or is my paranormal ability getting stronger? Uh, cutscenes! We can look at them again, that's cool. Oops, strategy guide. No, thank you. I did not mean to do that. But of course, we have strategy guide, because this is a collector's edition. Oh wow, we can do something everywhere. Let's go back here. Uh, and oil these hinges. Oh, it's empty. Drats. Go back here then. And here we can totally get this gear if we open the clock, which we cannot do, can we? Nope. Don't think so. Okay, what we got here? I don't know. Haha! <laughs> totally not stuck. No, 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 no,
why can I do something like everywhere, but I'm not sure what? Can I put the battery in? Nope. Uh, this controls the air conditioning of this room, but it seems like it's not working. Encasing glass, but if there's a will, there's a way. Oh, okay, now I see. We have a button. And it goes somewhere. Wait, I have a paper clip. I can open some lock somewhere, right? Maybe? Nope. I don't- I really don't- don't know what we can do here. Oh wait, I have a fishing net! Hey! Yeah! Totally! Handkerchief! Nope. Uh... No, I need to wrench for that. Oh wait, the clock. Here, paper clip. Yes! Ah, gear! Need one more gear, though. Okay, what are we doing here? Knock it in there. We cannot get in here because our oiler is empty, so we need oil. really oil here is there nope is there oil up here oh wait a minute of course fishing net wrench duh come on word fire come on Alright, wrench. Now I totally know what to do. Yeah, three wrenches in a row. Come on. Give me the keg emblem. And what do we do now? We are still here because we are totally missing something here. Or I am totally missing something here. Uh... Why are you empty, Mr. Euler? That is so inconvenient of you. Like... Hello? Think about others for once. I have no idea! Hinges are rusty. Alright, well, time is up. So we'll, we're, we are going to break here, so we are playing Demi Stone 4, Death at Cape Porto, and it's awesome, and of course it's collector's edition, so we're gonna have bonus and everything is gonna be super cool so thank you guys for watching hope you're enjoying the game and i will see you later